Hello and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We're gonna jump straight into today's video and as you can tell, it is a garage organization. I'm showing you some before clips because our garage was out of control and needed some help. Ever since we moved in, we just kind of threw everything in here. Um, it wasn't too long ago I shared with you guys we got a shed, so we got to move a lot of our major like big pieces out into our shed, but we still needed help in here. And as you can see, I had a little bit of organization going on from our last garage. I actually have a whole video from our last garage and it was like a Dollar Tree organization. So definitely check that one out too if you're watching today's video. But I wanted to work on this space and I wanted to share it with you guys. So that's how everything looked. Here are some of the pieces we bought. We already had a storage shelf given to us from like an old neighbor and I loved it. I thought it was super expensive. I honestly thought she got it from QVC so I had never bought more. But when we went in to buy all matching shelves, I noticed it was at um, Home Depot for like $59. It's this one right here. So I went ahead and grabbed a few more of them just so this whole wall could have matching shelves. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground This shelf is actually super easy to put together. Chase was shocked how fast he was able to do it. Basically you put on the feet and then a shelf and then you put on like the little like arms or legs and then you add another shelf and just so on. The only struggle I see like a girl having is it does get a little tall so you may have to grab like a chair or something. But other than that, it is super easy. It's just setting pieces in place and then setting the shelf on top of it. So if you need to do this, this is definitely an easy one to grab. It was affordable if you ask me, $59 for a shelf. They can get super expensive, like a couple hundred per shelf. So I felt like this was just a great option and it holds a ton. This is a large shelf, so just in case you're needing a smaller one, they did have a smaller option. Plus, they had a ton of shelves that were black and yellow, and I bought a lot of their tubs, which you're gonna see coming up. So if you want your whole system to match, you could buy those as well. I think they were right around the same prices, maybe even the same price, but they weren't as like deep, which you don't always need that depth. Sometimes you need them to be more narrow if you're gonna be parking a lot of cars in the garage. So just keep that in mind. I was super impressed with um, the Home Depot. I know you can probably grab them at Lowe's too. We had just ran to the Home Depot because it was close to church when we were running by there. Um, but I just wanted to mention if you do want the whole like complete set so it looks very like Pinterest worthy, they do make the matching shelves to go with the tubs. Here is what it looks like when it's finished. As you can see, it's really big. It holds a lot of stuff. It's got good depth on it. But like I mentioned before, if you need a more narrow one, they have that option as well. But we did buy a few of these. So I'm gonna speed this up in a little time lapse so you guys can watch Chase put these together. Anytime he's putting something together, I'm around him cleaning up. So it just goes a lot faster. So it's not like once he's finished putting it up, I'm trying to clean. I just like to kind of tag team it and the project always goes so much faster.
always wanted matching shelves for our garage. I feel like it's kind of like matching hangers in your closet. It just makes everything look nice and neat, but I know the garage isn't where our budget goes. Or if you guys are like me, you know, we were trying to pay for other things. So if you don't have it in the budget to grab these, this might be good to add to your like birthday list or Christmas list. Um, it's something you want and need and people don't mind buying and then you don't have to put it into your budget. Another thing to remember, just another little tip, you don't have to go all in and buy them at one time. You know, maybe save up the $60 and go buy one and get it organized. And then when you save up another 60, I don't want you guys to think, cause you guys see us put these videos together that we do this like whole makeover in one day. It doesn't always have to be that way. Just kind of buy pieces as you go. Check grad sales. Almost every other piece of storage that you see in this garage was from a grad sale. So the two in the back, that silver one that's shorter was a dollar from a garage sale. The black shelf was a dollar from a garage sale. So you can find really good deals. You just have to go out and hunt for them. So never let your budget be an excuse. Sometimes you just have to get super creative and you can still make it work. While Chase is working on putting that lash shelf together, you can see me in the background. I'm always trying to tag team it and doing the things I can do. I can't do a lot of stuff. Like I tried to move the black shelf for myself. That wasn't gonna happen, but I can start moving the other things out. Um, and here they are complete. Three shelves shouldn't make me so happy, but for some reason, just becoming an adult and getting organized just like makes me happy and calms my soul. So I was so excited to be able to get these shelves. Now we're gonna get that black one moved together so we don't break anything and then we'll be moving on. Okay, I do wanna thank Hoover for sponsoring this part of today's video. Um, I was outside trying to get stuff picked up so I ran in and grabbed my Hoover vacuum. This is one of those vacuums, it works like an expensive one that you would spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on but it's affordable. So if you wanna use it out in your garage or out in your car or in your house, wherever you wanna use it, you don't feel guilty. And there's something about in the garage, I love to vacuum it. I know that seems crazy, but my name is still vacuum to us part. Um, but just like using a blower inside the garage, it just blows dirt everywhere. I don't feel like it actually picks stuff up. I don't mind doing that outside, but inside here, if you look close, especially at the beginning of this clip, you can see all the dirt it's picking up. And like I said before, I don't feel guilty using it out here. It works so well. So it has the same suction as my other high-end vacuums. You guys know what I use, but this one is like half the cost. It is a tad bit heavier. That is the only difference. I'll be showing you some of the attachments just so you can see here. You can use this out in your garage. You can use it inside your home. You can use it to vacuum out your car. This is perfect if your kids are going off to school. This is perfect if you want like a second vacuum upstairs because you have like multiple levels in your house. It's already so affordable that you can do that. Plus they're gonna give you 10% off. So just use Ashley 10 at checkout and they'll apply that discount. But before I move on, I do wanna show you the attachments it comes with just so you have an idea. There's the floor attachment there's like the fabric attachment there's that nice skinny one so you can get down in like tight areas or back in corners it's also super easy to empty out if you can tell I just kind of press that button or squeeze it together I dump it out in the trash and then all it does is set right back on it it is so easy to use and I feel like it's very affordable so thanks again to Hoover for sponsoring this part of today's video I'm gonna have their link down below so definitely check them out if you're in the market for a vacuum vacuum but now I'm gonna go ahead and take these shelves and start putting them into place it takes me a little bit to figure out I couldn't decide if I wanted them like right next to each other or if I wanted them spaced out honestly I thought all of these would fit the whole wall but the wall was longer than I realized so it just takes me a little while to figure it all out I found you today it feels like it's been forever laughing all day
So here's what it looks like when they're like pushed close together. And then here's another clip with it spaced out just so you can kind of see the difference if you're gonna be doing this. I really wanted them close together, but Chase was like, let's go ahead and center it on the wall if that's what we're gonna do. So we're shifting them down. This is the best time to rearrange these shelves because once you get them full, it's gonna be a lot harder. They're gonna be a lot heavier, just like this one. You can tell we're dragging it. These shelves don't look sturdy on camera. Like they seem so wobbly, but just so you know in person, like they hold a lot of weight and I don't feel like they wiggle like that at all. So definitely just keep that in mind. Obviously they're 59, so they're not like wood shelves, but I feel like they do really, really well. And that one on the far right, we've had it like multiple years, probably four or five years and it's done really, really, really well. So just keep that in mind, but definitely figure out the spacing before you start organizing and put everything on them. Gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. So before I can start organizing and putting everything back into its home or its new home, I'm gonna get my storage bins organized and laid out. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the lids on them. Then I'm gonna start placing them on the shelf. The one thing I don't wanna do is get all my bins organized and then not have a place for them on the shelf or not know where to put them. Plus they're heavy moving around while they're empty. That's when you kind of need to do the placement. So if you were gonna move that one storage bin 20 times like I will to figure out the perfect setup, they're empty. Once they're full, it's gonna be a lot harder. So go ahead and play with the arrangement like this. Then you know if you have too many, maybe not enough. So definitely just use this as a trial run before you put everything in them and make them super heavy. Also keep in mind, the bigger the tub, the more that's gonna fit in it, so the heavier it's gonna be. Keep that weight at the bottom of your shelf so they don't get top heavy, they won't lean forward and fall over on you, they're easier to drag out. Like if those get super heavy, I can still open up the lid or pull it out onto the ground and then keep your lighter items up top. Also, just in case you're wondering about pricing, now this is Oklahoma pricing, so it'll be different where you are. These size tubs were like $6.50 or something around that. And then those bottom tubs were $13, but they even had a size up that were even bigger than those tubs right there, and they were $13 as well. So I feel like they were priced really, really well. They're super sturdy. I went with solid color ones because I'm gonna label these here in a little bit and I didn't wanna see all the junk. So you can see my paint bins right there. They're see-through. So if you don't wanna label, that's a good way to go so you can see everything inside of them. Your husband, your kids, whoever's gonna be out there can see. But I really like concealing the mess. So I went with the black and as you can see, it's just super clean and crisp. And then I'm gonna label them so everybody can find what they need. a mess don't know how i got here but i'm blessed didn't know it take me past my destiny you're behind me with the rest because i'm a mess Now, all the things that I'm having Chase put up high are the things I don't grab as often. If it's something I'm gonna use daily or weekly, I'm definitely not gonna put it up that high because I'm never gonna be able to get to it or I'm gonna have to grab a ladder or a step stool. So definitely just be aware when you're placing items, like how often do you use it? Like all my painting supplies, I've gotta be able to get that all the time because I'm always grabbing something. But like my muddy shoes up there, I'm not doing that all too often. So just be aware of your spacing and how often you use it so you're making it super convenient to get to. Gotta make 
make space for the new you like I'm old Next tip is when you're organizing these bins, keep like items together. Don't just do a free for all where you're just like cramming things in. You're never gonna know where to find anything. The system's never gonna work and then you're not gonna use it. So all in that last bin, I was putting anything I spray on. So sunscreen and bug spray. Now I'm starting like a toy bin. So it can be any of Savannah's toys, whether that's chalk, balls, frisbee, but definitely keep like items together. I also love keeping storage bins on hand. So yes, I'm putting bins in a bin. But then when I go to organize a closet or something, it's accessed easily. I can walk right out here or Savannah can. This will be labeled. She knows exactly where to go. And then she can pick out or I can pick out anything we need. So I like having this stuff where I can just get to it very easily. How can I believe when everything is in the now I'm starting a cleaning tool bin. So anything that will fit in here that's cleaning tools, then I have it all in one area. It's not spaced out in my laundry room and in the garage and underneath the sink. Anything that's just extra cleaning attachments can go right to this bin. So once we need it, we can find it. Are you like catching on here? It's so that you're not spending all this time looking for items. I, there's no telling how many hours we spend in our lifetime searching for things we can't find. Just taking a few hours and getting spaces organized will cut that back for the rest of your life. Just make sure you're putting things that make sense in your head, not so much my head, not your neighbor's head, your head, so when you go to find it, you know right where to go. I always get asked in my videos if we have a basement. So here in Oklahoma, it is not common to have a basement. Some people get super lucky and have one, but it's not common like at all. So we have attics and we have our garages. So we do have an attic and we keep like Christmas and holiday stuff up there, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't like going up there. It's hot, there's wasps. So I like that when I need something, I can just walk right out here and grab it. If you're older and can't get up a ladder or you have an injury, this would work for you as well. If you're kind of in our boat where you don't have a basement or maybe you do, but it's not accessible. Or if you don't want to get up in your attic, I feel like this is just super helpful because everything's just right there at a reach away. I can't even tell you how much sweating I did in this video. It was so hot and I had no idea where we were gonna be starting this project, but sometimes it just falls into place like that. And of course it happened to be in the evening time and that's right when the sun's setting. So it was hitting right into the garage, but I had to leave it open for lighting. So this definitely should have been a morning project. If we work on it again, <laughs> I will definitely plan it better, but it was so nice just to get it done. Now here's another little corner we haven't even touched yet. Chase just like throws everything right here and this door. So I'm gonna use some of the other um, like shelving we had on the other side to put over here. Basically anything we're not using, we're gonna go put into our shed because we need shelving out there. But I didn't wanna buy it for the shed because nobody sees it. So we bought it for in here and then we'll take these items and put it out there. That will be a future video, but I'm not sure when because that shed is super hot. So it may be like a fall project. It's a 
such a funny way to tell me what you're searching life Well, I'm a mad woman, sorry I don't compromise Mad woman, mad woman Keep calling me a mad woman Boy, it's none of your business if I'm a mad So I decided to try this black shelf over here in this corner um, and you're going to see I make it fit and I get it all set up but my goal for this wall was to make sure I had all matching shelf. So um, spoiler alert, it doesn't stay, shocker, but you guys can go ahead and see me organize it and then if you don't click off yet you can see what we do to fix it. these little hooks right here will be your best friend when you're organizing a garage they can hold so many things for different items you might need multiple things but for like this ladder one's good enough and they just screw right into the wall so definitely go to a hardware store and pick some of those up all of my organizers as well are going to be in my amazon store so like my broom holder uh, my ironing board holder i'm going to link all that for you guys but as you can see it is definitely coming along but now i'm going to work on all these cardboard boxes basically we just need to throw them in chase's truck so next time we're out we can take them take them to the recycling center so that's what I'm gonna work on right now now as far as it goes with these floaties there's not much I can do with them it is a seasonal issue so once the pool goes down we'll deflate these and keep them in the shed now we could store these in the shed, but it's super hot. It's harder to get into. This back door leads right to our pool, so it's just easier to keep them in here. If you have some fancy solution I don't know about, totally comment down below, send me a link or whatever, but the only thing I could come up with is just stacking them so they look nice and pretty and organized. We do have that black tubing in the corner. We actually have to return that. We were gonna be working on our gutters, but our build builder decided to come and help or send somebody out to help. But I did wanna show you some of our other organization. We have this fishing pole holder. Um, we have our bike. So Chase doesn't ride his bike as much, so we hang it up. We keep Savannah's down low. Once again, there's some more of those hooks for different things in the garage. I just kind of wanted to show you some of the other systems we have in place that are working, just in case you missed those in the last video. But anything you can get off the floor and onto the wall, do it. It's gonna free up so much space and your walls are just like wasted space. So definitely hang as many items as you possibly can and it's gonna make the space feel so much larger. Now I'm gonna show you inside these drawers. They do need a little bit of tweaking, but it was not gonna happen today because I was a pile of sweat. But I wanted you to see like I have a light bulb drawer and an extension cord drawer, a painting sheet drawer. All those keep me super organized. Now this is the next morning. I had created labels that night, but I was so gross. I took a shower and went to bed. So I'm ready for church. So I seem a little bit dressier today, but now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying those labels. Over and over, you cry yourself to sleep. Now, this is where you can get a little bit creative. I was trying to do one word that was super short, so I was trying to come up with different ways of saying that for each item. Now, all the bottoms were easy because they're like my garage sale items, so I put sell. I have a few bins that say donate. When it came to like the bug spray and the sunscreen, I just did sprays, so I was trying to keep it very simple. So like if Chase is out there or Savannah, 
they're not confused, but yet like the words really big and bold across. Now, if you don't have a machine to do this, you could just do this with like a piece of tape, but I feel like if you're gonna go this far and try to make your garage pretty, it's so nice just to have pretty labels and they stick on so easy. And then if a bucket were to change out, all I have to do is peel this off and create a new one. And then you can kind of make it more your style or however you want to do it. I could have done this in different colors, but you know me, I stick to black and white. But definitely just label the best you can, but very simple so everybody else knows what you're talking about that's in the family that's going to be using the system as well. So here is how it's looking. I honestly thought it was going to stay this way. I thought, you know, we're done, we're good. But the more I was looking at like Chase's workstation right here, it was like stressing me out. <laughs> I was like, we definitely need to work on that. But we had to leave to go to church. And when we were at church, I decided I wanted to go ahead and swing by and pick up one more shelf. I just thought it's one more and then it'll complete the space. Otherwise it just seems so unfinished to me. So this is where that comes in, like you should rearrange your shelves before they're full. Now they're full and I'm having to shift them all down. So you can definitely do it. It just takes a little bit of work and a little bit of elbow grease, but it was definitely worth the results. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. Or I could be so so when I picked up the shelf, it is kind of a domino effect because I needed one more big top and one more of the two smaller tubs. I definitely wanted to keep that pattern going. I'm a very visual person if you haven't noticed and I'm very symmetrical. So I wanted to just keep that same design going all the way down. But now we have more room for some of Chase's stuff and more overflow. I felt like we were kind of at full capacity before. So now we have room for extra stuff just in case. Um, so underneath Chase's workbench, it was driving me insane. So a lot of this stuff went into the extra bins over on the shelf. And then I end up bringing one big tub over here and we end up leaving underneath his workbench. So I had to go back the next day and get one more tub. I feel like I've been living at Home Depot lately, but our garage is on point. It feels so much better. And I can't wait to show you the end result here in a few minutes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me. So here is the final reveal. You can tell I'm short one tub there, but I did replace it just off camera. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it got you motivated to go work on your garage today. It feels so good to have that area done. I feel like it's something we just neglect. And I do wanna thank Hoover again for sponsoring today's video. I have their link down below in my description box. Definitely look into that vacuum if you're needing a stick vacuum because it is amazing and affordable. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.